Hello. Since the financial crisis, we've seen concern about inequality, social exclusion, and poverty rise up the political agenda. Now, to its supporters, and there are many, the obvious solution is to give all adults a universal basic income, so for the state to provide an income for basic needs to all adults. And the idea is that that policy would not only reduce inequality, it would increase independence and extend the kind of freedom that relatively affluent people have got to the rest of the population, and it would also dramatically simplify the welfare state. Some also see a universal basic income as being a natural response to a world in which machines, some think, are going to take an awful lot of jobs and we're going to see rising worklessness, rising unemployment. Now, there are some pretty big challenges about a universal basic income. Uh, one is suggested by its name, it's universal, it goes to everyone. That means it's going to be expensive. The OECD, the Organisation for Economic Cooperation and Development, estimated that rolling out a universal basic income in the UK would cost about £44 billion. Pounds. That's equivalent to the UK defence bu budget. It's a lot of money. It would mean higher taxes or a lot more government borrowing. But also by virtue of being universal, everyone getting the same basic income, a UBI would mean that the state wouldn't be able to target money to those in greatest need. One of the great virtues of the current welfare system is that it can target help to those with special um, needs or those who are thought to be a priority. So perversely and oddly, the UBI could actually increase poverty and that's a point that the OECD has made. I think it may also be a mistake to think of work, um, perhaps in a way that some supporters of UBI do, as being principally um, a financial arrangement. Clearly working has all sorts of non-financial benefits to do with, with purpose and structure, social interaction. I think there is a question as to whether if you gave everyone a basic income, that might actually erode the incentives um, to work um, and actually have a negative effect on, on welfare. And finally, I guess there is a concern about the ability of the state to roll out a massive um, program of redistribution um, through a universal basic income. Um, the state's record um, on more modest projects, so the computerization of NHS records, for instance, or more recently um, introducing universal credit um, has been has been mixed so trying to take on this task of introducing the UBI would be a, a very large one. I guess the uh, the overall feeling that I would have is that um, in the Western rich countries um, over many years they've evolved welfare states which have provided a very sophisticated way of targeting support to different groups the elderly and disabled people people without work, single parents. And the real constraint in terms of dealing with inequality or poverty or social exclusion is not so much to do with the system, it's more to do with money. And many of the problems that a universal basic income set out to solve could be solved through the existing system, um, but of course that would require more taxation and a greater willingness on the part of voters to pay taxes to help others. And I think that um, would remain with a universal basic income and it's the central constraint with the existing system.